If you want to make your RTX 5090 run the best it can, and by that I mean increased performance, lower power consumption, because this thing draws quite a few watts, lower temperatures, reduced noise and reduced coil wind, all at the same time, well, this is the right video for you. And I know quite a few of you have been waiting, so I apologize for my delay. But this was actually quite tricky to test out because it varies a lot depending on your model. And now, little disclaimer, this video is gonna work for every single model out there. So it doesn't matter if you have a cheaper end model like the Zotac Solid I have over here. I choose this one for this tutorial because it's pretty average of a card. But even if you have a top of the line card like an Astral or a Vanguard from MSI, the video is gonna be the same for everyone. The only difference is gonna be the results you're gonna get. Because if you have a lot better of a card, on the performance preset at the end, you're gonna get quite a few extra frames. So the video is gonna be based on MSI Afterburner and we're gonna use that and Heaven Benchmark and both of them will be linked down below in the description. So click on them and download them. Now, I'm using the stable version of Afterburner, but if you wanna use the beta version or if you're watching this in the future and you only have the beta version, which looks a bit different, you can cross-reference this video with my RTX 5070 Ti video, where I actually use the beta version. Now, I'm gonna have a few different settings, okay? So the first one is gonna be the most balanced, then we're gonna have a performance preset for the most FPS, and then an efficiency preset, if you just want your PC to run efficiently, quiet, and to run for a long time. Now, the only thing I ask is if this video ends up being helpful for you after you've tested it out, please drop a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it allows me to bring out more of these videos. My mission is to cover every single CPU and GPU on the market and show you guys how to make them run the best. And with that said, let's go into Windows and let's start tweaking. Okay guys, now here we are into Windows. First off, you wanna open up MSA Afterburner and with Afterburner running in the background, you wanna go ahead and open up Heaven Benchmark. Now, make sure you run it like this. So quality on Ultra, tessellation on Extreme, anti-aliasing on x8, uncheck the full screen option and run it on 2560 by 1440. Now run it, press the Windows key and open up Afterburner on top of it again. Now if you do have multiple GPUs, for example if your CPU has an integrated graphics, make sure you click here to select your 5090. Now once you're here you want to go into settings and uh, make sure you enable voltage control, voltage monitoring. Hit apply, hit ok, Afterburner is gonna probably reboot Perfect, and you now wanna pull up the curve editor right here. First preset, the most balanced one and the one which most of you guys are gonna be using is as follows. So, you wanna go ahead and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point right here on the bottom. Basically go over it, click on it, hold the shift key, and by left clicking on the mouse, drag the whole curve up until on the left, you arrive at around 2800. Now, this can be a bit less, for example, 2794 or 2802, a bit more. Both are fine, but go right over there. Then you wanna click on the void, hold shift, and select the rightmost part of the curve and flatten it out by dragging it down, just like this, and hit apply. And as you can see, our curve is now flattened out. Now what you also want to do is go ahead and unlock your power limit to 104 and fully unlock your memory clock over there at 2000. You then want to hit apply and our first preset, again the most balanced one, is basically done. So if you want a set and forget it option, this is it. And we have already completed it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make it run with Windows every time you start your PC. And then if you want you can close the video if you don't want to stay and get some more detailed tips and other presets. You wanna go into settings and make sure you check start with windows, start minimized and hit okay. You also wanna click here to enable this little windows icon. To make sure this profile is always saved, you wanna go into save, click on one, click on one, click apply and you're done. You can minimize it and never look at it again. Now with that said, in case you wanna stay, here we are again. Now, the first profile can be optimized too. So for example, this is actually stable for 99% of cards. For 1% of cards, it's gonna be slightly unstable, which means you're gonna need a bit more voltage. So you may want to try around 2800 with 925 millivolt. 
Now you could also do, just keep the 900 millivolt and drop the clocks a little bit. I find 100% of cards work at 2700 megahertz with 900 millivolt. Memory clock always works at 2000. Now, let's go ahead with the second profile, the performance profile. Now this one needs an even bigger disclaimer than the previous one, because on this one, you're gonna be dramatically power limited. So if you have a very good model with a big power limit, you're gonna get massive gains here. But if you have a lower end GPU, you're not gonna do as well on this preset. Okay, so be warned. So how do we set it? What are the voltage points? So first off, if you want to get more performance out of the first profile, you can also try pushing it a bit more in the 900 to 925 millivolt range. And if you're very lucky, I've had one card doing 2900 megahertz fully stable with those voltages. But how you do it is you keep the power limit how it is, keep the memory clock how it is, go on the core clock, put it to zero, which is gonna reset our curve, as you can see. And we now wanna grab the 975 millivolt voltage point. Now it's gonna be either this or the 1000, but uh, the higher you go into voltage, the more your power limit is gonna kick in. So if you have a lower end card, you're probably better off with 975, but even there you may be power limited. But if you have a very expensive card, you can push 1000, no problem. So we grab which point we want, in my case 975, hold shift and bring it all the way up until on the left, I arrive at around 3000. Now listen, 3000 is aggressive, but if you're doing this for performance, you're okay with testing out this preset and seeing if it crashes. So hold shift, select the rightmost part of the curve, bring it all the way down, click apply to flatten it out. Now this one you really wanna test out in gaming because it's really aggressive. If you want to be super safe and get more performance, you can go for around 2900 megahertz, around there. But I think if you're doing the performance option, you may as well try it out and see if 3000 works for you. Also because I've had higher end cards with 1000 millivolt do easily, not only 3000, but even 3100. I've had an MSI Vanguard card do 3200 megahertz, fully stable, with fully unlocked power limit and the memory clock all the way to 2000. So you want to try that out, but these are the voltage points and these are the clock ranges, okay? With that said, I say we go ahead, reset our curve again, and this time move on to the efficiency preset, which I know a lot of you guys want because let's face it, these cars, they run a bit loud, they run a bit hot, they draw a lot of power. And if you're putting them in smaller PCs, a nice efficiency preset is gonna do you very well. Now my favorite efficiency voltage point is going to be the 850 millivolt voltage point, this one right there. And I find this card can do crazy good on this point. But again, I'm gonna differentiate because I've had a few cards that were just not performing as well. So the preset I actually recommend is the following, hold shift, and bring the 850 millivolt voltage point all the way up to 2600. Okay, yes, it can do it. It's crazy good. Now, flatten out the curve all the way. And now this is your efficiency point. This one is gonna give you massive efficiency gains, but you can actually run it lower. Now, if you're a bit unlucky, 2600 is not gonna work and you're gonna have to settle for around 2500. However, if you are indeed very lucky, you can try going down a bit more. And I find 825 in some cars is still working. But you know, if you go too low with the voltage, you start to see strange things. So I'm settling with 850 millivolt for the time being. And guys, with this also, we fully finished our undervolting guide for the 5090. If you could drop a like and a sub, like I asked in the beginning, it would be great. But if you have any questions, also drop a comment. And uh, what I also want to ask you guys is if you can drop a feedback about what kind of results you got. So we can also use this video to compare uh, what people are getting. So just be honest in the comments. And uh, I hope to see you guys again in another video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.